What's up, everybody? Hello. We are back. Or uh, let, me, let me hold on. <laughs> let me move my mic a little bit closer. It's an RX for now. We're gonna be summoning for Deanne because she's the new character, Valentine Deanne. She looking okay. I'm not a fan of the headpiece, to be completely honest. And the fit, eh? I don't know. Not a fan. Anywho. What she does, let's break it down before we get into the summons. Apply symbol of love on the hero at the start of the battle. Symbol of love increases allies' base stats by 3% for each ally that takes damage on an enemy skill. Granted, and not even granted. Side note, this symbol of love is a buff. They're blue buffs. So it's kind of a L in a way. But you know, I guess it kind of makes sense for it to be a buff. Depend like when you see it goes to 10 times. So, I mean, amplified characters can go kind of crazy depending on how you make her work. And then, let's keep going, keep going. While assuming a stance, the hero's HP related stats are increased by 20%. That's just the other DN. It's pretty much the same thing. When a hero's stance is removed, it increases crit defense by 30% for two turns for all allies. She's Arthur with a mix of DN, obviously. Okay. In addition, when the hero uses a skill in PvE, allies attack with stats are increased by 10% for two turns. So she also has a PvE passive. Cool. And also, she's not character or race gated or characteristic gated. So she's actually gonna be fun to play with. Instead of only on sins, only on humans, only on giants, or some bullshit like that. So she looks pretty fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. She is green, so. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, we're gonna go in. Let's look at a banner. Uh, do I need anyone? No, no. I mean, I might need Jenna copies, maybe Anna Lane copies, but I don't really care that much. Zanary, I might need. I definitely need Wedding Dean copies. Blue Derriere, uh, Hawk Oslo, Malaskula, Jelly King, and Merle. Okay, so this banner isn't bad for me, personally. There's a few characters I could get shafted in, but not a lot. But let's go keep going. She has a pure single target, which is cool. And her oh, well, her stance is, you know, Arthur's stance. She has a damage reduction taunt. And at, oh my god, at higher levels, you can get the old gauge removal. It's literally Arthur's taunt, but it doesn't remove old gauge on rank one. So that's about it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Because we better go in and get this character. I'm not going for copies. I'm only trying to pull the one since festival is right around the corner. So hopefully we get a little lucky for us personally. That'd be great. Not gonna lie. I don't know why I was watching them, be completely honest. But so far, she looks pretty okay. Like, she's definitely better than Festival Deanne, I think, because she is literally Festival Deanne with extra steps that added Arthur into it. So I think she would be a better taunt unit for that Sin team over Deanne. But that's really hard to say when Deanne has like the damage she deals is increased by the damage she takes. That whole shtick is insane. And especially when she tanks so crazy in the first stance. Oh, I gotta go back and see. Is her stance, um, what do you call it? Scaling off her HP? Oh, I can do it here. It, it scales off. No, it's just a D damage reduction stance. Okay. And then turn to oh no it's just a straight damage reduction stance and she gets her crit deep okay that, that's that's not the best festival dn is slightly better than her then because at least you get hp release that's when you pop her stance her stance just gives you damage reduction and a ton it's not the best thing ever but i guess it's okay Ooh, we got a jenna okay that's cool that's cool that's cool we could we continue we roll we ride mm. Okay. I mean, I can see the potential. I do like her kit. It looks like it could be interesting to play around with. So I'm gonna be making a lot of videos on her for sure. Cause I think I'm done with the Tower God characters. I'm really just eh, burnt out if that makes any sense. But if you wanna see more, just let me know. If I really care that much. But for me personally, I'm gonna be making some DN videos for sure. Can I get something? I got a Jenna. That's cute. <laughs> but like, can I get anything? Like, that'd be great, bro. I would really appreciate like anything. Okay. We love that. We love this. It's a very good situation to be in. That's for sure. 
Nope. <laughs> man, these banners are not fun, man. I'm just telling you. Get doing a half a banner and only getting a Jenna is insane work. Like, statistically speaking, right? Since there's a 3% chance every single mold, or every single pull itself, and you summon for 11 at a time, or 10, wait, no, 8, no, it's 11, it's 11. What again? Cool. Um, might be useful. But yeah, you summon 11 times, and you have a 3% chance for each one of those 11, so technically you have like a 30% chance to pull an SSR, roughly. Like, that's very, very heavily into the statistics and probability. But that doesn't mean probability is right, right? It's like a like a gambling thing. You, 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 like, I can't even speak. Let me just get this over. Let me, let me finish this multi and then I'll finish my thought. Count up! Okay, second. Second. <laughs> we pulled her, unless that's wedding the end. I hate my life. Oh my god. It's wedding the end. Really? That's just a bait and switch, bro. That's insane. Alright. But what was I saying is it's like gambling. How like you say you add up um blackjack, not blackjack, like the roulette table. And you get the reds and the blacks and the odds of the evens. If you vote on red so many times, eventually you're gonna get red. That's not how it works in gacha games, unfortunately. And technically it doesn't work like that in reality either. But, you know, people like to put up that mindset, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. Don't worry, bro. This is just good commentary about don't gamble, kids. <laughs> just don't do it. It's not worth your time. Do I want to see another Lost Man animation? Do I really want to? I guess. Let it rock. Fine, whatever. Let him cook. Cool, Meanwhile, I just get opened it. up Grand Cross on my free to play account on the phone. It didn't open. Let's go. I think I broke it. Open up, man. Uh oh. It's not open. <laughs> oh, it's the. Well, is that the last nigga? I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Ooh, I'll take it. Halloween Merlin, that's a 2-6 or 3-6 Merlin. I'll take it. I like it a lot. <sighs> Looking good. Ooh, guaranteed sin sky. Okay. Something good. How many sins on this man? It's just yens and kings and Merlin, I believe. So it's a one-fifth chance of me getting the needed character at hand right now. Really? But all this being a menace, he's just standing on my couch. Go lay down, boy. All right, I see it. It's the first one. I'm going for voice lines. I'm closing my eyes. Voice lines. <laughs> Who? <laughs> is that the new Dian? I don't know who that is. Elaine. All right, buddy. Oh, Merlin. That was, that was, that was, that was painful. I've never heard that voice line in my life. <laughs> Valentine Lee, I guess? That might make her sense of it. can skip that. Whatever. Cool. Jenna. Or Zaneri. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> oh my god. This is what pain feels like. Alright, guess we're doing a full rotation after all. Because at the end of the day, I'm already at the end of the banner. And if I pull her now, I might as well finish the rotation, right? It is what it is. I wish I could have saved some gems, but apparently that's not the case today. Alright, buddy. Just go ahead and knock it out of the park for me. That looks like shot. An an another one? Another one. Really? Alright, bruh. Alright. Okay. Malaskula? I'll take it, but like, come on, man. I, don't, I think I pulled every character on the banner except for like three. <laughs> Last multi. I'm not getting good luck here, so. Yeah, that was 
That was bad. Wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, bad, but it was bad. Like, the whole rotation for her, bro. Alright, sure. It is what it is. Can't make up the rules. Now, let's go ahead and check out her animations. As well as, before we go actually do that, let me just scroll up to see who I can put dupes in. Let me just check. Okay, Daria will be 5'6. Jenna will be 2'3'6. My. Or 3 or 4'6. I think I put her twice, didn't I? I don't remember. My last skill will be 5'6. And I have a Madrona copy, apparently. Um. Scenario will be 5'6 or 6'6. Six, six. I don't remember how many I pulled of each. She will be 3'6. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go check out our animations and then we can call it a video. We don't need to worry about the ultimate. It's not a new character. We've seen the ultimate eight times. I just want to see what our cards look like. So let's go ahead and do the level two. Okay, 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 that ain't bad. It's very fast. <laughs> is that just me or is it very snappy? I don't know what this is, but okay, okay. Taunt. Oh, she has diamond, she has a taunt. That's actually sick. Of course, you're getting prepared shit, so it's a level one. But then again, I am also level one with no stats, you know what I'm saying? So, eh, whatever. But diamond shield is sick. That is not a good skill for thumbnail material, but I'll find a way to make that work. Okay. She's cool. She's she's cool. She's cool. But that's gonna be the video though. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below <laughs> what teams I should run with her. And ooh, uh, uh, it's festival the end. Of course, she has the, the physics of a god. But um, yeah, bro. Let me know what team I can and cannot run with this character, and we'll see what happens in the next video. So peace out, and I'll see y'all next time. So, and have a wonderful day.